These are the materials I use to package my pins. A cutting mat, the pins, the pin backings, a foam block, stickers, stamps and stamp ink, a pencil and a micron, a utility knife, cardstock, a scoring device, a T-square, a round corner cutter, scissors, washi tape, packaging tape, and a shipping roll. Links are in the description. First, I start with this round corner cutter. It has three different corner sizes and I use the smallest for the pin backing. I think round corners look more presentable and are less likely to get damaged in the mail. Then, I use the foam block to poke the pin through the backing. I purposely made the artwork on the backing the same size of the pin for easy aligning. I do these in batches to have my pins ready to mail out. By the way, these creatures have amazing bioluminescent properties, so I tied that into these pins by making them glow in the dark. Next, I make some measurements to create the thank you cards that hold the pins. Generally, I can cut about 6 cards from one sheet of cardstock. Using this scoring tool, I can make a clean fold along the middle. Cardstock is very thick, so to get a nice fold, it's better to use something like this that creates a groove on the paper and allows it to fold easier. I size the cards so they wrap around the pin. Doing this adds an extra layer of protection and saves on material. I make two small cuts on the front side to hold my thank you sticker as it's the first thing I want the customer to see. I write a thank you message inside as I am really grateful that out of all the awesome pins out there, you chose one of mine. Then, I add a stamp on the front and back side to add in some branding. Finally, I close it up with the washi tape. Next, it's time to package it all up. For my pins, I like the final package to be a perfect square, so I first cut a 12 by 6 piece of shipping roll center the pin, and fold the roll down the middle to make a 6x6 package. I press on the four edges and it automatically sticks without the need for tape. This product is made of the same material as plastic bags, so please, recycle this anywhere that has a plastic bag recycling program. Just make sure to remove any of the labels before recycling. The last thing to do is add the shipping label and a brand sticker to the back side. And that's it. The last thing I do is put it in the mail. So this was my process on how I package my pins. There's a variety of ways of doing it out there. This is just the way that works best for me. In one of my upcoming videos, I'll be going over how I package my knot pillows. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.